So there's this little lake by my house, but I've not gone there and fished it before. Honestly, I thought there would only be trout in the lake and that you needed a boat to catch them. At least that's what my neighbor said. However, I could not be more wrong. So I downloaded an app called Fishbrain, which is actually a community where other fishermen can post what they've caught and what they caught them with. They can also put the exact location of where they caught the fish. So with the app, you can search your location and areas around you you might want to consider fishing. For instance, I was right there and I saw three different locations for fishing near me. The one on the far right had some catches associated, the little green dots, so I had to check that out. By the way, this is a community lake and therefore you cannot fish it unless you live here. Luckily I live in the community, so I could. I was able to see that the majority of the fish caught here were largemouth bass, and some decent sized ones at that. I could also change it to hybrid mode where I could see the satellite image as well. This helped me figure out where to fish the lake based on where people actually were catching the fish. So I noticed at the bottom west corner of the lake a guy caught a bass on a popper. Of course I'd love to catch one on top water. So I decided to head that way. However, there were a lot of weeds that day, and really no back cast in that spot, so I decided to move. Right here it showed a few people with catches, so I gave it a try with my small popper. Turns out that this is an inlet for water here that creates a large hole surrounded by tall weeds. I mean, the perfect ambush spot for bass. And yep, there were bass there. Okay, nothing huge, but hey, a bass. Wow, this guy felt a little bigger. That's not a bad bass at all. And another out of this hole. Well, after those three, I decided to walk to another spot on the river. As I started walking, I saw this family of deer just chilling behind me. It was such a peaceful morning. So I made my way to the other side of the lake, and finally the sun peaked its way over the ridge. I was dressed for the crisp morning, and only had planned on fishing till the sun got hot. Of course, being on the other side of the ridge meant I had to hit a few spots. And I got this little guy. And then I got another bass just after my camera died. Luckily, I took a picture with my phone before releasing him. And of course, after catching the fish, you can post them on the site. Fishbrain allows you to put a location marker where you caught your fish. Or you can decide not to put the location if you want to keep a honey hole hidden. I decided to make mine not hidden, and people can see right where I caught the last fish. 
I also could choose what bait I used, and the closest I could find on their app was this tiger-colored popper fly. And yes, they do have selections for different flies used. So you can probably find a fly exactly like you used, or at least pretty similar. Of course, since I uploaded that fish, I've had lots of thumbs up and likes on that fish, as it's kind of a community. It's a cool app, guys, so check it out. Now you can use that for free, but some of the features are limited, and I highly recommend getting the upgraded version. I mean, I really wouldn't have caught bass this day if I didn't download the app. So it's beneficial for helping you find good water around where you live, or where you're visiting. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.